So second Super Bowl, how does the, I know we're early in the week, but how does it compare thus far? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty similar. I think the, I think the, uh, the schedules, I, I can't remember too much, but it's coming out here, it, it sort of brings back memories. It's um, the, the opening night on Monday was pretty similar. Yeah. How do the emotions compare from having been fallen short? Now you get a second bite at the apple, essentially. Yeah, um, I've said to I've spoke about it with with other people. I think it's sort of my first year. It was sort of like almost like a like a games were sort of like a panic, like don't mess up sort of thing. And I feel like I've learned to uh, sort of take it in more and enjoy it. Um, winning the NFC Championship last last time was just like oh my god, Super Bowl and. This time it was uh, my wife and my friend and my wife's family were able to come on the field afterwards and um, sort of just enjoy the moment instead of being like, oh, sh like shit, I'm about to be in the Super Bowl sort of thing. So um, I feel like it was a little different um, and like in a, in a good way to be able to enjoy it more. No Australian has ever played in and won a Super Bowl. What would it mean if you were the first? Uh, a lot. Um, it would be cool to sort of, yeah, be the first Australian and, uh, yeah, hopefully, yeah, inspire people back in Australia, kids or anyone that sort of wants to have a crack at their dream. It's, yeah. So much of your job is so consequential, but in a way so thankless, down to holding where it's only, like, you know, if you hold for a field goal, it's only a story if things don't go well. How do you mentally prepare yourself for that side of the game? Yeah, it's... Uh, it's, yeah, growing up playing either, like, soccer or Aussie rules football, it's such, like, an like an like a uh, continuous game um, I, w I would always get nervous but you know once you start there's not much time to think yeah. whereas here it's like you get half an hour to go sit on the bench and think yeah. about it so <laughs> there's just different things I've sort of learned like um, psychology like behind like performance and like breath work and just like like a mind like you know the way you need to have like you, the mindset you need to have that plus breath work, I feel like it's helped me sort of uh, control like the emotions and the stress between punts or holds and stuff like that. Now we know you can take the ball and run with it if you need to. How much have you envisaged, I guess, you know, a moment where that would make you a national hero if you're able to, to get a fake punt secured? Yeah, um, I think when like I don't know about other punters, but for me, thinking about like coming over to America and that like highlight reel is like a fake punt so it was cool to be able to get one of them off even though it didn't really count um i don't know about the super bowl because the flip side of national hero is like the villain <laughs> so unless it's called i'll be uh just punting the ball all right mate well for san francisco's sake we hope we don't see you too much punting yeah, the ball all the best this week and best of luck on sunday sweet thanks mate